LeBron James, if, if I wanted to, I could make a video every day about LeBron James. I wouldn't have to talk about anything NBA related. LeBron could keep me busy talking about all the dumb shit that he says on social media. Like I've told you guys before, I don't think LeBron James is a bad dude. You have some social justice warriors out there that are just pure evil. Keith Olbermann, Joy Reid, and then you have others who I don't think necessarily believe in the agenda. They're just paid to push the propaganda. Megan Rapino, Stephen A. Smith. Hell, according to Jason Whitlock, Stephen A. didn't write his own columns when he was a journalist. ESPN pays him $12 million a year to push their woke talking points, and Stephen A. Smith pulls it off to perfection. I believe LeBron James falls into this category, paid to push propaganda. He has a lifetime contract with Nike, who is in bed with China. Therefore, LeBron is not allowed to say anything that would paint the Chinese government in a negative light. The problem when you sell your voice, when you sell your integrity for money, you lose your authenticity. Many people don't believe anything that comes out of the mouth of LeBron James because he has promoted lies for so long, it's hard to know when he's speaking the truth. Of course, LeBron doesn't see it this way. He took to Instagram over the weekend and he posted an interesting message. Fake has become so acceptable that people get offended when you keep it real. This message is ironic on multiple fronts. Number one, normal people don't get offended with the truth. I know plenty of social justice warriors that can't handle the truth, but those of us who are normal, we prefer the truth. It's the reason the majority of the country's fed up with the mainstream media. It's nothing but bullshit. People are starving for authenticity in this country. Look at some of the top podcasts in America. Most of them have one thing in common. Authenticity. Joe Rogan, Adam Carolla, Clay Travis exploded last year because he kept it real. He was one of very, very few people in the mainstream media that was talking about the bullshit of the Kobe and calling out the woke garbage at the same time. There's a reason cable news ratings are going down and regular people like myself and others here on YouTube are growing. Authenticity. I'll be the first to admit, I'm not always right. I do get things wrong from time to time. An hour after I uploaded the video about the NBA this morning where I said Adam Silver will likely temporarily shut down the regular season, he releases a statement an hour later that there are no plans for doing that. Maybe I was wrong. Now, I still have my doubts. Just because Adam Silver is saying that today doesn't mean he's going to feel that way tomorrow. But if I do get something wrong, you guys know it's just a simple mistake. I'm not trying to intentionally propagandize you. Another reason that message from LeBron is ironic, he has no business talking about keeping it real. My God, I could sit here for hours talking about all the times LeBron James hasn't kept it real. What about the time he blasted Daryl Morey for supporting the Freedom Fighters in Hong Kong? He accused him of not knowing the situation. Translation, you don't know how much money we're making in China. Keep your mouth shut. Or the time he called out that cop in, um, I believe it might have been Ohio. I can't remember the state. LeBron calls out a white cop for shooting and killing a black teenage girl. He goes off on a social media tangent. I'm so tired of my people being killed by police. Hour or so later, it's revealed that white cop actually saved the life of a black teenage girl. Oops. Now, does LeBron James issue an apology? Does he retract his statement? No. He goes on about his business pretending it never happened. Last month, he accused Kyle Rittenhouse of fake crying on the stand during his trial. You know, because no one ever gets emotional when they're fighting for their life. But here we have one of the most notorious fake floppers in the NBA, someone who cries to officials on a nightly basis, accusing someone else of fake crying. What about the time LeBron James said that he wouldn't give his energy to someone like Enos Cantor? Then he proceeds to give his energy to Enos Cantor. You want me to keep going? LeBron James is a family man. 
One thing you cannot take away from him, he has always been there for his wife and his children. No reports of him being unfaithful. Now, with that being the case, how can LeBron support an organization like Black Lives Matter? One of the tenets of BLM is the destruction of the nuclear family. The founders of BLM, they hate dudes, not just white dudes. They don't like black men either. Now, how can you call yourself a family man and support a group that wants to demolish the traditional family? How about the numerous times that LeBron has had fans thrown out of NBA arenas for heckling him? I thought LeBron likes to keep it real. LeBron James is so fake, he even gets false positive on Kobe test. Now, I'm just kidding on that last one, but he really did get a false positive a couple of weeks ago. But you get the point. Someone who has picked up a second job, spreading propaganda, pushing misinformation, promoting Black Lives Matter, wants to tell us that people get offended when he keeps it real. Now, someone else who has never had a problem with keeping it real, Dennis Rodman, otherwise known as the U.S. Ambassador to North Korea. I haven't seen an updated picture of Dennis Rodman in a while until I saw this story on TMZ earlier. I don't know if it was just this particular photo or the fact that he wasn't wearing the usual makeup, but damn, Dennis Rodman is aging rapidly. 30 plus years of hard partying are finally catching up to him. Anyway, he was on a flight from LA to Fort Lauderdale yesterday morning. During the flight, there was a minor altercation between Dennis Rodman and the flight crew. Now, when you think of altercations on flights, several things come to mind. Maybe he was farting in first class and other passengers were complaining. Maybe he got drunk, became unruly. Maybe he was getting a little bit too flirty with a flight attendant and he made her uncomfortable. Nope, nope, and nope. Dennis Rodman caused a problem with JetBlue because he wasn't wearing his mask properly. He was asked four times to properly wear his mask. He was non-compliant. He could have killed someone. Dennis Rodman claimed that he was having trouble breathing. That's why he kept lowering his mask. Now, that could be true. The real reason, probably, he was uncomfortable. Who the hell wants to wear a damn mask for the entirety of a five, six-hour flight? Now, I do feel bad for the flight crew. These ridiculous Kobe policies... They put flight attendants in a tough spot. These people don't want to be hassling someone about wearing a damn mask. Joe Biden, who also refuses to wear a mask, he keeps extending the mask mandate on airlines. Now it's extended all the way to March. Why? Masks are useless. The only thing a mask accomplishes, it makes the social justice warrior sitting next to you on that flight feel comfortable. That's it. But fuck that SJW. If he's uncomfortable, he should stay home. The poor men and women working at the Fort Lauderdale Police Department, they had to respond to a call on this bullshit with Dennis Rodman. And look, again, I'm not blaming the flight crew. I would imagine they are required to get police involved in situations like this. But come on, really? Are we really calling the cops on people for refusing to properly wear a mask? If it's up to the woke media, of course we are. According to the Daily Mail, Dennis Rodman is a repeat Kobe offender. Last September, he was seen maskless interacting with fans at a Whole Foods store. He even had the audacity to break social distancing rules and shake their hands. What a bastard. Let me know what you guys think. Give me your thoughts on LeBron keeping it real and Dennis Rodman having the cops caught on him for refusing to properly wear his mask. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com, kc underscore btl84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.